Good morning. It's April, or excuse me, it's May 2nd, 2022, and uh, welcome to an update on corruption. I've been promising you guys a show that connects the dots, and we're going to reach a little bit out of uh, Walton County into Okaloosa County, and what I want to do is try to connect some of the political dots for you. I'm going to show you what corruption really looks like, and today I've talked about him before, but what I'm going to show you is what I want to talk to you about is here's how developers are running the show here and how our county has lost control and how that we can't rely on our elected officials and law enforcement to do the things, do the right things. I'm going to show you some examples. So if you guys have been watching the Northwest Florida Daily News over in Okaloosa County, they're coming to a deal with Preble Ranswell. Now she's, I'm not here to discuss Preble herself, defend or uh, accuse her of anything. I just want to read some facts right out of the paper. So anyway, she basically, they said she did not comply with some public records laws, uh, violating public records laws as elected official. And of course, when they went to get them, there was a big scuffle, which resulted in a whole bunch more charges as the councilman and, uh, and the sheriffs went fisticuffs. But that be as it may, here's what I love. We're trying to resolve it, and we're down to the little details, but I don't know if we will, said Greg Anchors, Greg Anchors, the county's chief assistant state attorney. Well, here's what's really interesting about this. Here's the whole thing. There was a big development order going down and some issues. There was obviously an internal battle in the Destin City Council, and Ms. Ramswell and others were at the center of it. The developer that she did not think probably was should have his development approved. They basically, they came after. And this guy was involved and I'm gonna tell you why it matters. He's behind a lot of this. That's what my opinion is. And, and, and we're gonna know him, watch out now, hide your sandwiches. It's Graham Fountain. Now look, this is Colonel Graham Fountain, according to a declaration by Senator Everts in 2013. Colonel Graham Fountain, but I'm afraid it looks like Colonel Sanders got hold of him because he's calling for his third bucket right here at the podium. But here's how this fat bastard is involved in this. Graham, when he retired in 2013, he's the chief of staff, according to the article. For who other? None other than Michael Atkinson. And here's what's funny. When I presented records of a public records law, evidence that the Walton County staff and even the sheriff himself, I've got a website showing that the sheriff's not only breaking the law with Commissioner Brannon, Judge Green's already issued an order because they had broke the law before, to definitely don't do it. You're ordered not to. Now, when I turn that information around, Graham and them's response was to try to civilly sue me for slander because I wanted them to enforce the law. And they went to Dana Matthews and he said they couldn't. How do I know this? I've got the public records and the receipts. It's got Graham's initials on it that he's carrying the folder to Dana and to the sheriff on me. Well, what's up, fat man? Were y'all disappointed you couldn't spend the public's money to hide the fact that elected officials were breaking the law? Is that why Evers made you a colonel? But anyway, Graham left as the Okaloosa County Commission because he said his health was failing. Well, obviously he'd eaten everything in the south end of the county when he visited and his health was failing, he said. But it wasn't failing bad enough that he couldn't immediately take a full-time job from the part-time commissioner's job, working in where? The state attorney's office in Walton County. And he probably after he'd been there long enough, I guess, to get connected again, he quit and went to work for a developer. Look it up online. Guess what developer he went to work for? The same one that Pre they say Pre Preble Ramswell was harassing, so they wanted her records. She failed to turn over the records, I think, on the four set of records that they asked for. I don't know, like I said, the details are sketchy, but don't you think it's funny 
that Graham had just quit from the state attorney's office. He worked for Atkinson. They've labeled him a colonel. They labeled this great champion. And here he is from a developer that he can now work for. Remember, he was too sick to be in office, but he wasn't too sick to work full time at a job at the state attorney's office. Now it says online that he's working for the developer that wanted Preble held responsible. Well, Graham, when I when they were lying about Sam Destin and the commission was covering it up, I had much more evidence than y'all ever had on Preble. Why didn't y'all? What is the sheriff? He's your buddy. Don't he, don't y'all go to hunting camp with the new sheriff Eric over there in Okaloosa County? Man, I just don't get this because you and Mike had way more evidence. And, and you had a judge's order. And in fact, Mike was doing it too. And who was this, who, who got the letter from all this about what was going on back in that day? Well, Greg Anchors was then working in the Funiac. Bingo. So Greg Anchors is after Preble for this single violation, but he ignored one. This was supposedly for a development that hasn't happened yet, but but Greg Anchors ignored it and is still ignoring it. And the sheriff won't answer questions about this. Listen, let me clue y'all in. The reason the sheriff and none of the public officials have come out and said that I'm wrong and my documents are false, because the second that Mike claims that or that he's looked into it, he's got to prove that if they come ask him. And he knows he hasn't looked into it. And he knows my documents aren't false, so they just have to sit in silence. So y'all keep asking me, why don't they respond? Because the second he responds, we'll be able to say, well, if that's true, what are these documents? You know, he's in catch 22, all the cops and all the commissioners are. This is connect the dots. Now, like I'm saying, Preble might be guilty. And if she is, she'll just face the punishment. I'm not here to defend her. If she broke public records laws, she'll have to face that punishment. But it becomes apparent to me that who you are and who's after you and who you're connected to is what really matters. And that's not the intent of public records law. They should be applied fairly to all. So Mr. Anchors, if, you have, if you're charging Preble, when are you coming over to Walton to Maybe even charge the sheriff because he's still violating it right now. Do you need to see the list, Mr. Anchors, where they were having lists on people who had had no due process? We've got that too. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how politics and the law, because remember, he's a colonel, according to the senator, because he's had such a great impact on law. Is it normal for a cop to go to work for a developer? Cops, commissioners, do you see how this all is? These three ex-cops? Now look, when he was Mike Atkinson's undersheriff or chief of staff, whichever the two positions he held, this guy couldn't have ran 50 feet without falling down and being winded. He could meet no standards of the department and Atkinson probably couldn't either when he hired him. And folks, that is the failure of elections. We're electing leaders that don't meet the minimum requirements of the people they lead. That's failure. And that's your connect the dots tonight on the Alan Osborne show and, the, and a welcome good morning on the 2nd of April. It's just a little combined show. Y'all keep them straight out there because this cop, or excuse me, ex-cop, you know, and this current cop, they ain't going to do it. And they ain't going to say nothing either because anything they say, we can ask them. Is that the truth? What do you think, detective? Y'all keep them straight on the Alan Osborne show. They can't keep themselves. See you next time.